Are you ready to have your blogs found through Google Images and drive more traffic to your website? You are in the right place then. It is Blog Tip Tuesday and today we are going over the advanced blogging tip, how to upload SEO optimized pictures to your blog posts and have them be found on Google Images. All right, let's get started. First, you want to pick a picture for your blog, a picture that will accompany your blog. And I like to go to freedigitalphotos.net to grab a free photo. So I've done that here. I've gone um, and I'm going to pick this photo and I'm going to click download for free. And then I need to scroll down and accept the terms and conditions and enter my email address and finish the security challenge. Okay, you're all and then, Plus, it gives you once you've completed the CAPTCHA, the next thing that you're going to want to do is you're going to want to save this new photo. Now you can see here that when you save it, it's going to save it as ID dash and then a long number and it saves it as a JPEG, okay? In order to have search engine optimized pictures, we're going to need to change this save as name so that the JPEG itself is utilizing your keyword phrase. So I'll show you now how to do that. So I'm going to hit save as. And now down below here where it says file name, I'm going to delete the file name that it was originally given. And I'm going to type in my keyword phrase. So the keyword phrase that I'm using with this picture is authentic message. And then I may also, to help me to remember what the picture is of, I'm going to add real and fake. If I can spell it correctly. There we go. And now I hit save. Okay, so I've saved that. Now you want to go back to your dashboard and go into the post that you're creating and you click upload insert and you select the file. And then you scroll down and you can see here that the file name is authentic message real and fake dot jpeg and if you scroll down further the link url is your website and then at the end it says authentic message real and fake dot jpeg right so my keyword phrase authentic message is in the picture url now if i had kept the long random numbers that i had that were originally in the download name um, then that's what would have shown up here okay so you want to search engine optimize your picture by naming the jpeg the keyword phrase and then when you upload it to your website the keyword phrase is in the link url and this becomes extremely helpful in bringing your pictures to the first page of google images now of course you also want to add your keyword phrase to the alternative text okay and i always suggest that you then also explain what the picture is because of course the the alternative text shows up when someone can't actually see the picture so if the picture is slow to load or their computer is not loading pictures then the alternative text is what appears where the picture would have been and so i think it's always helpful to include the keyword phrase and then a description of what the picture really is for anyone who doesn't see it okay now of course i received this picture from freedigitalphotos.net so i need to make sure that i give them credit so the first thing that i'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste the um, information about where the picture came from and I'm going to put paste it into the description so that it's always there for me to reference. Then I'm going to insert full size. I want to use this as the feature image and I'm going to insert this into my post. So here it is. Now I'm going to click on it 
and I'm going to click on the picture icon and I'm going to come down here to the link URL and now I'm actually going to change it to the free digital photos.net and in the caption I'm going to paste the information about where it came from. Then I'm going to go to advanced settings and I'm going to choose open link in a new window and hit update. So now it gives the proper information. However, the picture image itself is still labeled as authentic message. So there's more likely a chance that this picture will pop up in Google search and when that happens, people will be redirected to my blog on Master Your Authentic Message. So people can find your blog posts by clicking on images in Google. If you've ever done a Google search, you know that if you click on the image, it takes you to the website where that image is found. And so you can have that work for you as well in terms of having people come back to your blog posts based on the images that they find in Google Images. All right, I hope that you have enjoyed this amazing advanced blogging tip, and I look forward to hearing how it works for you. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks so much. Have a great day.